Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom, and today we are getting into the final member of the Royal Three. I have Mini Choi here, and so we are going to be checking her out and seeing what she is all about, taking her out of the box, and I'll show you everything involved here. But first off, let's take a look at this box right here, and you can see we have Mini right on this side, little Rainbow Vision logo, the Rainbow High YouTube sticker along with the Rainbow High logo. Then we have Minnie's second outfit and a little piece of merch for another doll that you might have. And then we also do have a separate pair of shoes here as well to go along with that second outfit. And we'll check out both of those on the doll later in the video. Uh, Minnie does have a music focus, which is on the side right here. And then on the back side, we have the Royal Three. You can see all of them right there. We have Tessa, Tiara, and Minnie. They are the semi-finalists in the Royal Three. And we do have a little read up here at the bottom. If you would like to pause the video and read that for yourself, uh, you can go ahead and do so now. I know the glare is kind of hard to make out all of those letters. But yes, this is Minnie Choi from the Royal Three. And you know what? I think that it's time for us to take her out of the box. But before we do that, be sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you're not already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. Also, if you don't, follow me on Instagram. There's lots of fun stuff happening there. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and get Minnie out of the box here so we can lay it out on the table, check it out together, and I'll tell you what I think. All right, so I have everything laid out on the table here for you, and you know the drill. Real quick, we're just gonna go ahead and set Minnie off to the side just for a moment, just so we can take a look at everything else that comes inside of the box here. The first thing that we have here is her stand, and I'm glad that we have a pink doll here in this uh, trio of uh, mostly purple dolls. So we have the Rainbow High stand here, and we have the back support piece and we have the little waist clip right there. So you can put that on there and be able to stand up your doll, no problems, nothing special happening there. It's just a stand, as I typically say, um, but this is not just a comb, this is a rainbow high comb and it's probably the best accessory in the box. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, I'm just biased because I like these little combs right here. Um, that being said, uh, we have our comb, we'll set that out of the way. We also do have a lyric book here, which um, I should point out in the last video that I did about Tessa, I said it is the same. It's not exactly the same. The song lyrics are the same, the same song in there, but then we have special pages that are dedicated to um, each character, like this one has a couple of pages that are dedicated to Minnie, and then we have the same song in there, and then we have some other, uh, some other photos in the back, but mostly the same uh, as far as the song lyric goes and most of the pictures. That being said, um, we do also have her second outfit here. Uh, the first thing that we have is a little shirt that's designed for maybe your other dolls. It's just a piece of Royal Three merchandise, so they have some merch going on there. Um, we also do have uh, the second outfit for mini here with the shoes, which we will put on the doll a little bit later on in the video. And then we also have some very, very tiny little black gloves, which are gonna be oh so fun to, to, to put on the doll. I don't even know if I'm gonna put them on, on her actually, but um, yeah, these are tiny, tiny little black gloves. So all that being said, let's go ahead and start out by taking a look at mini Choi. All right, so here we have her face, and you can see lots of pinks going on there. We have pink eyeshadow, we have pink blush, a pink lip color with that very, very pink hair going on. I know a lot of people say there are tons of pink and purple dolls. Well, this is very true. There are tons of pink and purple Rainbow High dolls. Uh, she does have her little headset here, which is not pegged into the ear. It's just part of this headband, actually, and the whole thing is rubber banded to her head, as you can see right there, there's a little rubber band run down the side. She does have earring holes, but no earrings. And as far as the rooting goes, everything to me looked pretty fine. Um, the hair is in the box a weird way. You can see that there's a little opening right there um, because I have not yet brushed out the hair. It 
was kind of in the box weird. That's all I can say to it. There's a little bit of crunch at the bottom because of some product down here, but really nothing too badly done there. I'm pretty happy with the face overall as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Minnie's outfit here. She is looking absolutely beautiful. Um, so we do have a lot a lot of little beads all over the place, little pearls everywhere. And you can see that uh, my shirt is a little offset just because of how it's on her body. You can just kind of scoot that over if that happens to you. But she's got this cute little top here with pearls um, outlining everything. And then we have this cute jacket here as well. Again, lots and lots of pearls, lots of pearls going on there. We do have a black um, like faux leather skirt that uh, appears to have layers, but it doesn't really have layers. You can see that uh, it's just a, well, I guess that is kind of a layer, but it's very cute nonetheless. Um, and we have a little faux zipper up here at the top as well. That's kind of keeping everything looking stylish. Little faux pockets right here on the sides also. Everything can be removed on the back via Velcro though, right here, and then we have the top that was removed underneath the jacket. So the easiest way to get the jacket off, if you didn't know, just pop the hands out. Um, speaking of the hands though, um, she does have a very nice manicure going on there. Look at how long those nails are. And then we have a bunch of rings on each finger. Now these rings, I believe, are molded into the plastic, so they're not going to easily come off of there. Um, she has rings on both of her hands right here, as you can see, very long nails. This one has a little pearl on it. But yes, they are, they are part of the plastic, I believe, so they're not just going to pop off of her wrist. We have a little rubber band stuck on her arm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, as far as her outfit goes, it's looking very, very cute. And then we also do have her boots down here, which are these faux leather boots that have these little, these little plastic parts all the way down the side. These boots are very, very detailed. Um, I really do like them. And they have this little rainbow high emblem on each one right there. And then down at the bottom, we have the heels. And I, I don't know, I think these boots are fire right here. These are probably some of the more detailed boots that we've seen come out of Rainbow High. So I think that they're absolutely fabulous. All right, so now that we've taken a look at her first outfit, let me go ahead and get her dressed up in this second fit so we can take a look at it together and I'll tell you what I think. All right, so here we have Minnie in her second outfit here, and I gotta tell you, these little pearls love to fall off, so be careful about that. Also be careful about the um, like patterns of the pearls because some of them are just, the, the quality is definitely not there on this second outfit, depending on which one you get. They, they do like to pop off though, these little pearls are just glued on, so definitely be careful when changing outfits. I will also say that these little gloves are almost impossible to get on the doll with the long nails and the rings. So uh, unfortunately, sorry, I just decided not to put them on. Um, but she looks perfectly fine without them. I do love this dress though. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, like I said, just watch out for those pearls popping off and also watch out for how they are laid out on the dress because mine is definitely not perfect. As you can see, some of the patterns there are just little all over the place. So something to stay, uh, keep an eye out for. I'll probably keep her in the first outfit when I display her, but I just wanted to give you that little heads up. Um, the shoes here are very, very cute. She does have these like, um, almost like a faux leather stocking that are like kind of shiny and pearly. And then we have these beautiful looking shoes. Look at the, the design on those shoes. Really, really cute. Oh my goodness. So, so cute. I love these so much. Um, and I do love the second outfit as well. Um, but uh, like I said, just watch out for some of those things that I was pointing out here, just so you can make sure that you uh, keep an eye out on those in case you're looking to pick up mini for yourself. Um, but this is the second outfit here, minus the little gloves, which like I said, are just impossible to get on those tiny little hands, especially with the long nails and the rings on there. Everything just likes to get snagged on stuff. So another thing to keep in mind, if you plan on displaying her in the second outfit, take your time and patience with these because they are very tiny. So <laughs> that being said, I mean, there's really not much else to say about Minnie here. She looks absolutely gorgeous. 
I really do like this doll. I'm so happy to finally have all three of them out of box so I can display them together. Real quick though, let's go ahead and talk about articulation here. Uh, we do have a ball joint in the head, as you would expect. Uh, we have full range of motion in the arms here. Uh, we do have a 90 degree joint in the elbow and swivel in the elbow, as, as well as swivel in the hand here and uh, another joint in the hand that can go back and forth there. Um, there's no torso articulation. With the legs, we have a ball joint in the thigh and uh, depending on what they're wearing, they can kick up about 90 degrees and kick back about 45 degrees. Again, the skirt's prohibiting that a little bit and they have a double jointed knee here so they can kick up pretty dang high and then there is a little bit of rotation there at, uh, at the leg as well. But yeah, I mean, very, very beautiful doll. I definitely love Mini Choi. I would love to know though, now that I've opened up all three of these dolls, which one of them is going to be your favorite? Which one of the Royal Three do you think is your absolute favorite? That was almost balanced, but not quite. Um, I would love to know that down in the comment section below. And uh, I really appreciate everybody just hanging out with me for just a little bit here as we unbox this brand new doll, which I cannot seem to get balanced here. Is this, is this the one that breaks the streak? No, it is not. There we go. We got her balanced. Oh no. <laughs> I really do appreciate all the support everyone though. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to do that as well because there's lots of fun stuff happening here. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it so much. Once again, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and I'll see you later. Bye.